Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's speed build is my dream wardrobe. If you ever go on Pinterest, you will find everything you've wanted and a lot of stuff you don't need. <laughs> this wardrobe included. I saw a two-story one and thought that I needed to build it. It's a little excessive, a lot excessive. It changes a lot from when I first start to the end. You'll see here. We're just getting the layout now. I didn't want to make it too big. I think it's too big already, but if it was too big, I and mean, we don't have a lot of closet stuff to put in in the game, decor wise. The one I saw was, it had a balcony. Well, stair railing all the way around. And that's what we're doing right now is the, the upper part. It'd be crazy to have a wardrobe like this this wardrobe is bigger than my house, probably. <laughs> it took me a while. We changed the floor color a couple times. Well, I changed the floor color a couple times. I didn't know if I wanted it to be darker with lighter walls or darker walls with lighter floors. Right now they're black, but I change them to white. I was going through wallpaper not knowing what I wanted there. I was testing out some of the new ones that came with a toddler update, but none of them were like fancy enough. So I go with this one and I do end up changing it. The name of this speed build is Change. I don't usually build wardrobes like this, so it was kind of a creativity Thing to have to figure out what I could use and if I could use anything and turn it into something wardrobe related. I love that white and black tile. I don't use it enough because it's really, it just stands out a lot, makes a statement. It makes it look kind of old timey. I do change that to a different color, I think to the pink carpet. Putting the roof on. I definitely knew what I wanted lighting wise. The Pinterest picture I saw had a huge circular chandelier like that right in the middle of it. Just put a couple of them in there. And then we do the chandelier. The chandeliers. I was going to put glass railing, but decided it needed to be a little more fancier. So I go with the wrought, I think it's wrought iron in the whitish silver color. And there we go, changing the floors. The door colors do change too. They're white now, but I will change them to black. Putting in some walls with little closets in the corners. I didn't end up putting anything in those at all because I didn't know what could go in them. <laughs> I was going to put like sculptures in them, but who has sculptures inside doors in their closets? I, I don't know. I haven't seen many two-story luxury walk-ins in person to tell you. Here we go putting some mannequins. I was going to go crazy with the mannequins until I realized that you only get, you can only put 10 and I really didn't feel like you can take a room from the gallery and have more. <clears throat> you just keep adding the same room with 10 mannequins to your lot and you can pull them out of that room and use them. But I didn't really feel like it. So I just, sometimes less is more, so. 
Here I start working on the vanity area. And I do end up changing those. This bottom floor is a mid-level wall height. I end up changing it to the tall one so I can size up those curtains there and make them so they don't go into the floor. Putting some wardrobes on the corner there. Trying to fit stuff in. It needed something above those. I didn't end up putting anything because nothing fit well. End up changing the lights. I love those lights. Those are the spa day lights. I just wanted a soft light and the other ones I had at the vanity were too bright. Here we go working on the other side. Putting a bunch of clothing racks up. This was a really fun build to do because it was very creative. You had to use like we don't like I said before we don't have a lot of closet type stuff besides like dressers and closets and the decor right there so I kind of made walk-in I know those doors open like up widely but I kind of figured that maybe those were doors that slid like normal closets side to side they could pull out like pull open like normal doors forgot to put the lights on there so that's why I had to take away the walls again changing the colors of the clothing we do end up changing those mirrors to uh, black And the Pinterest closet had all the closets I've seen on Pinterest that were luxury always had cabinets like you're seeing now be put like so it's a huge block I don't know what they put in it I guess you could probably put anything in it but I do one of those on each side Adding some pink in for color. And reconfiguring the cabinets. I didn't want it to be the same as, I didn't want the cabinets to be the same on both sides because it doesn't have to be in the the area the way that I put the the walls doesn't match up so it would have cut off a lot of space putting in some topiary topiary bushes is that what they're called topiary groomed shrubs etc putting our other massive cabinet not cabinets I don't even know what you'd call that island I was gonna leave it open but I didn't know what to put in the middle and I felt like it looked really weird I probably could have gotten really crazy and put a water water fountain in the middle so I just size up the the table there and put two of them at the top And put some flowers on it. The tulips again. I was trying to figure out why they were sliding down through the table, so I just put them on the corner on the edges. Adding some pink shag rugs. I do keep these rugs, but I get rid of the white one and I use it as black accents up, up on the second floor. So 
It's actually took me a long time. I thought it wouldn't, but I struggled a little bit with the color, the color scheme, which is why you'll see a lot of this towards the end does not look like the finished product in the screenshots. It would have been a super long video if I would have kept it all. Here we are moving to the second story, kind of getting the rest of the wardrobe decor and putting some shoes. And we also box those in and put sliding doors, opening doors on each of those. And that's pretty much it. It was a really fun build. I'm, I usually don't build rooms separately on a lot. And I definitely never build my closets this big. Just adding some lights in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Here we go, one more time. Everybody's feeling fine.